Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Saggy baby? What's going on in the life of a Saggy between the 1st and the 15th of December? Hmm, hmm. It's your birthday. Uh-uh. It's your birthday. Uh-uh. Bad, bad contest. Who in first place? Who got enough for their birthday? Who twerk? Who work? Who's showing out? Hmm. Hmm. I know y'all last is. Y'all be cutting the fuck up. But you gotta love a statue. And before I get started in my damn ramble, happy birthday to you. It's your birthday, Sagis. Do you? And if they don't like what you do, Tell them it's my season, so screw you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. How about that? How about, how about that? Who turned up for their birthday, though? Saggy, I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. Energetically, I have to go ahead. I know y'all like Mocha. Oh, my goodness, where you been at? Yes, I've been really just kind of... Meditating, going through my own ascensions. This Jupiter energy came and hit hard. Been just feeling myself a little here, a little there. And if can't no other sign feel me, a damn Sagittarius can. Okay? So, um, you guys know how I kick off with my intuitive messages, but let me get into my spiel. This is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say. So if you don't like cussing, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube who will resonate with you better without cussing. But this is my shit, so I'm a cuss. Uh, you guys, this is not a personal reading. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found below, okay? Um, also, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey. <laughs> from, the first and fifth, from the 1st to the 15th of December. I apologize for being tardy to the party. Hell, if I die, if I go, Lord forbid, before y'all, if y'all, if I get there before you, you might be in the wrong damn place. Yeah, and I'm the one that's getting crossed. Look out. So, I'm going to be late. Even when I plan to be on time, I'll be late. Y'all understand me there, too. We be here, okay? So, <laughs> you guys, uh, to my new returning subscribers, y'all. Welcome to the family, y'all. We all are dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We love. We evolve. We share. We enlighten. Y'all, positive vibes only over here. We family, okay? Ain't none of that judgment. Ain't none of that pride shit. Because you can't buy shit with it. Okay? So, with that said, without further ado, let's jump into this Sagittarius reading. So, you guys, you know how I get down. Since Sagis and the Capricorns were my top viewing, uh, my top viewed video for um, the first half of December, I wanted to make sure that um, well, I'm sorry for the mid month of November. I wanted to make sure that I did show you guys some love. It was my intention to go live, but with the energy shifts and all of the crazy shit. I just had to really protect my energy. You dig? Like, even with my technology, it wasn't even flowing right for me, so I felt like it wasn't meant. But I did make note of uh, what I got uh, energetically for you guys with meditating intuitively, okay? So, what I got, the intuitive messages, this could be within Sagittarius energy or external to you. I got so contract, karmic, closing, confidence, work, Jupiter. Trust, freedom, revisit, sacrifice, astral travel, new love, honesty, unconditional love, forgiveness, ancestry, success, communication, miracles, growth, life path, fulfillment, purpose, fate, Happiness, fear, expansion, inheritance, ego, wealth, transformation, acknowledgement. So, Sagi, I don't know if this is within your energy, okay, 
or someone external to you. But I feel that we're in a very expansive period, you know, of the energy shifting that's going on. And I feel that you guys are really starting to see things for what they are. There may be a, a, a bit of wrestles. I feel like I'm feeling the energy of like me against myself, but more so my evolved self and the person who I know I have the potential to be, the person who I'm manifesting to be every day and the person who I've shown myself that I was in a lower vibration. And I feel like it's a clash of ego and growth. And that is um, what Saggy is having to push through during this time, okay? So we're going to start with your spiritual messages. I feel that the overall energy that I got with your spiritual messages um, was the Five of Pentacles as far as the tarot. And I'm going to go around it to give you a further explanation because I asked Spirit, what is this energy as far as, what is this energy? What is Saggy having to evolve amongst, okay, or evolve through? So, what I got was the Five of Pentacles, and I feel like for some of you all, it's some form of like abandonment or some form of feeling like there are so many people in the with even with so many people in the room, you're still feeling alone. I feel that during this time, Saggy, a lot of you all during this time will be focused on the self. It's this energy of wanting to renew, want to wanting to renew the self, being reflective over where you've been, and being grateful over how far, being grateful towards how far you've come okay also i didn't start having an issue with my throat chakra until i started recording this video so some of you all may be trying to find the right words to say during this time or some of you all may be kind of reflective and kind of standoffish to yourself and really just trying to maybe plan speaking or speaking your truths in a way that it doesn't offend people i feel that you there's a need to be in this place of solitude during this time to really acknowledge some of the things about yourself, your ego, your pride, your goals, your purpose, things that really fulfill you, fulfill you from a soul level. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of you all may, during this time, may be seeing white birds. These birds are really to let you know that you are on the right path, which is a divine one for a lot of you all, which requires that love of the self. For some of you all during this time, there's a need to really, really, really nurture yourselves. And I'm speaking from health, wealth, and from a spiritual aspect, there's a need to ensure that you're taking your cleanse, your cleansing baths. There's a need to ensure that you're protecting your energy as well as loving yourself during this time. And knowing that if you have any fear that someone is wishing you any ill will or anything of that nature, just not to worry about it, not to feed that fear, but to put more love into yourself so that you can project that on the outside on the external a lot of you all during this time are really 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 learning um new things some of you all may be into love spells during this time some of you all may be into the law of attraction manifesting um i'm literally hearing 48 laws of power some of you all are really 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 <sighs> some of you all are really realizing that are unlocking like the key to the universe or reading something about unlocking or trying to master the key to the universe or coming to some understanding, something about the key to the universe. Some of you all may be seeing owls during this time. And I feel that it's, look up your, um, look up what seeing owls mean as far as the animal totem, because I definitely know it has to do with wisdom and spirituality. Um, they're also about uh, like messengers, but messengers that bring some type of clarity. Or some type of like confirmations for you, especially for those of you who are um, asking for the universe to show you certain synchronicities around a particular partnership or uh, possibly around movements for some type of momentum. But some of you all are definitely le definitely learning. Um, some of you all are learning that you have some type of. I'm not going to say sorcery in a bad way, but some of you all are learning that you have some type of um, ancestral um, healing abilities as well as some type of ancestral roots that um, a lot of you guys have been beating yourself up about being intuitive or having some type of esoteric knowledge or abilities to astral travel and literally be pulling information to bring back to the 3D and implement it in order to attract and manifest things in your life and you know not really control the situation but really kind of give it that order in order give it that order and that structure that you desire energetically for you guys to move forward in a momentum like way 
But I feel like some of you all are fighting yourself because there's this level of like ego and pride. For some of you all, a lot... A lot of you all are really internally fighting yourself as far as wanting to heal. You don't want to do the same shit, Sag. Okay, I feel that some of you all could be really fighting with your lower selves, okay, or fighting to let substances or addictions go. For some of you all, it's addictions to people or just the reality of understanding that you can't control certain outcomes during this time so uh, my my advice and spirit advice to you is don't attach yourself to outcomes so that you don't have to be internally conflicted if they don't go the way that you assume them to be okay some of you all are definitely going to be experiencing new love but you in order to get to this new love you have to deal with this internal conflict you have to truly 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 heal and acknowledge what it is about people places things etc that makes you feel this sense of uneasy this sense of not enough this sense of lack this sense of you get what i'm saying this sense of low like not not how can i put it you needing more confidence this sense of needing to move forward confidently and just knowing that it's already done sad but some of you all are definitely calling in your soulmate during this time. There's this need to, but some of you all, what I'm also noticing, some of you all, you really need to work on your heart chakra during this time. For some of you all, it's your sacral chakra. But I'm feeling like some of you all could also be learning um, what it is that you're passionate about. Some of you all are really delving into different cultures, different um, different forms of spirituality. Some of y'all, y'all third eye. Is wide the hell open. You have this sense of all knowing, but you're not speaking it, Sag. And it has to do with your life purpose, the things that you're truly passionate about. Your soul is screaming at you to make a particular move. And for some of you, you're internally conflicted about it because you. I feel like you know that it's going to bring some type of attention, maybe, or some type of. But you're looking at it. You're looking at the attention from it from a negative aspect, like, oh, people gonna think this. People gonna. Think what the fuck ever. It's just people shit. People do people shit. But what what do you want to do? Two tears in the bucket. Fuck them, Sag. I'm just saying. Some of you all could also be learning more information um, having to do with the fire sign or some type of like soul contract or past life connections. This could also have to do with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I feel like you guys are definitely moving towards a divine partnership with someone who could possibly be um, maybe a high priestess or a high priest. You could be a medium. Maybe you're moving into a partnership where both of you all are mediums. This could be a fire and water connection, a fire and fire connection. Because I definitely have the king and queen of fire here, Sag. Some of you all could be getting more information, possibly delving deep in towards like ancestry or you're getting a, um, some type of gravitational pull to some type of, some of you all, for some of you all, some type of comedic background. Um, some of you all are getting into the story of like Isis, um, Set, Osiris. Some of y'all are definitely going through an awakening and transforming during this time. It's about balancing out your masculine and your feminine energy, setting the intention, setting the intention, believing the intention, and, and actually learning how to use the, the creative juices, okay? Use the energy that the masculine, you know, pretty much use the energy and the creativity that pull that you pull from your feminine, but use your masculine energy in order to make the moment to push forward toward the momentum in actually expanding on those ideas and expanding on those feelings and expanding on even if it's a fear it's nothing to it's nothing to fear yet fear itself because it's not real it's an illusion or a paradigm of the mind that you created that, that if you created it you can destroy it it's just how you choose to perceive some of the things that you've experienced okay because for some of you all, I'm seeing that you had to experience that. For some of you all, you really needed to have faith in the situation. I feel like you needed, you're needing this, this, this energy of needing to know and needing to really believe that I am abundant, I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am joy, everything that I am manifesting, everything that I have called out and put out into the universe, all of my intentions, all of my seeds, they're coming onto me. I pray, I set forth, I know, I believe. 
some of you all things are aligning for you. Again, there's this need to focus on the throat chakra during this time. Your crown chakra is on fire. Some of you all, there's this need also to really rest and rejuvenate. I feel like some of y'all are really moving too fast and you're really needing to give that same energy as far as rest to yourself, as far as being able to open up more, connect with spirit more during this time, pray, meditate, okay, and really focus on the heart, the throat, as well as the sacral chakra for some of you all. All right, let's see what's going on with my Saggy's going up. Okay, so Saggy, I do see some of you all are going to be going through major transformations during this time. Some of you all during this time are going to be walking away from jobs and actually moving towards what you feel is your soul calling, your life purpose, something that you've possibly been internally conflicted about. For some of you all, you're going through a transformation, a form of newness or something that maybe you've been manifesting for some time is actually able to materialize after you move past the fear. And for some of you all, it's a fear of rejection, okay? For some of you all, you've really been focused on trying to make your life purpose align with wealth as well as abundance in your life and I feel that you're really needing to move forward on your creative endeavors because some of you are most of you it has to do with your life purpose and your soul's calling okay for some of you all you may be assessing um like for those of you who are really wanting to dig deep into past life um past life karma and understand some of the um lessons that you have to move forward on because some of y'all I feel that there's this fear of the unknown so some of you all you really need to be accepting some of y'all are going to be trying to assess your Akashic Records but ensure that you're very accepting when you're trying to assess your Akashic Records because from experience some of that shit you might not be even ready for okay some of you guys are walking away from a Scorpio a Leo, I feel like you've been internally conflicted uh, for quite some time, but some of you all have just seen the situation for what it is after really taking time to yourself and really, really, really making logical decisions. Some of you all are really wanting uh, possibly newness from someone who you walked away from. I feel that you want you want to see something materializing, something that you've been internally conflicted about, something that you could possibly feel left out on. But some of you all... Some of you are wanting to offer your love during this time to a water sign. There could also be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see Scorpio here, but it could be Cancer or Pisces as well. This could be the father and mother of your children. But I feel like there's this sense of newness. You really want a fresh start. You want to start over. Yes, Saggy, someone is stalking, but they're not talking during this time, okay? I feel like some of you all could also be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo or being in internally conflicted about moving towards something new. But someone is definitely watching either you or this other person. Some of you all could definitely be having dreams about things to come, things to come or possibly having dreams regarding Pat, some of you all have past life connections to possibly a water sign or a fire sign, and I feel like you really don't understand the intensity of the love, of the actual energy between you two. You just know that it's so damn strong that you're really, really trying to get more information about it. So this could be why you're assessing the, assessing the Akashic Records. Maybe you or this person have has a deeper understanding of the connection or if this person has more of a deeper understanding or you feel like there's something that you're lacking towards understanding in that intense in, in that in that intense relationship it's past life okay so this is the intensity you've loved and known each other before for some of you all and I feel like some of you are wanting to revisit a past relationship because maybe you feel like the cycle like Maybe the relationship couldn't quite get off the ground due to some, like, hidden communication as well. Yeah, some of you all have an apology coming, possibly from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like this person wants to communicate. There's this level of stubbornness. Some of you all are going to, in a past life, for some of you all, you had to choose between two options, possibly a karmic as well as a life partner or a twin flame and a karmic. For some of you all, you're going to have to cut off one of these people in order to have a newness, but have newness, but you will definitely have this newness, especially when it comes to finances. For those of you who've been having this damn lag mindset, please fucking stop. Because the universe definitely hears your prayers, hears your manifestations, hears your intentions, and the universe and God's spirit, they know your heart. So let me tell you something. 
if you believe, okay, it's your actual belief that is going to manifest these things and bring them into fruition. But you cannot believe one day and be like, well, maybe if you believe and ifs don't go together, okay? Because I'm definitely hearing lack, lack, lack. Somebody's just expecting the worst. Don't attach yourself to any type of expectations, okay? Because I definitely see that there can definitely be some form of growth in a situation. However, somebody's going to have to make a judgment call, but it's going to come with some type of truth that's really needing to be expressed or some type of mature conversations, okay? But this definitely has to do with the past life, uh, a past life partner, okay? A past life connection. Yeah, some of you all, this could have to do with the fire sign. Maybe you or this person could have been defensive toward, or maybe you're expecting for uh, there to be like some type of like argument or some type of like defensive conversation or a little like animosity or tension. This could be with the mother or the father of your children as well. Maybe you moved away from this person in the past. This could involve a Pisces, Libra, Aries, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, but sad you on harmony. And so be it. There will be harmony. But you got to move away from the fear of, you know, just thinking the worst I'm feeling. Some of you all have been wanting to re uh, reconcile with the Gemini, okay? I do see a reconciliation taking place. And I feel like in the past, maybe you wanted to manifest a new beginning with this person. I feel that there is still a lot of passion. Both of you guys need to heal from this feeling of abandonment. You and this person called in one another. Also, not only for some of you all to move forward and heal beyond that actual lesson, but some of you are heal beyond that vibration, but some of you all mirror this person because maybe that's something that you guys really didn't talk about in the past. Maybe in the past you just had a passionate connection with this person versus really, really, really getting to know them. And I feel like, yeah, some of you all are not moving forward because you feel that this person has a lot of options or maybe Sag, someone feels that you have a lot of options. You're dealing with a water sign. You could be finding out or maybe you feel like you're not enough. Maybe this water sign feels like they're not enough because you have a lot of options, Sag. Maybe this damn Gemini feel you got a lot of options, Sag. Some of y'all dealing with a twin flame most definitely. But some of you, there's this need to build some type of, build like a firm foundation of stability, okay? And this could include a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you guys, I'm hearing mending fences, mending fences. Yeah. Some of you guys are really, 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 I feel that for a lot of you all, this is the last step towards your, this is the last step that you have to hurdle. Okay, towards being happy, towards fulfillment, and actually having and manifesting your desires, okay? And for some of you, you just been desiring that person, especially if you have a family with this person. You want to have a happy family with this person. You want to have love, stability, fulfillment, passion, understanding, okay? You want to have security around this. This is what is coming to you, Sag. If you truly just move, let go someone that you know it's not working with or let go the actual karmic, the, pretty much the karmic energy around a particular bond or some type of uh, past life partnership. Damn it. Sorry about that. A peppermint all just fell on the floor and broke. But some of you all will definitely, some of you all are waiting on communication from another fire sign. Aries Leo Sag, I definitely see family situations around that situation. Let me move that bottle. So don't fall again, y'all. I'm like the clumsiest of the clumsy, for real, for real. All right. Let's get some clarifies. See, why is this five of pentacles here? Why are my Saggy babies feeling not enough yeah that's crazy i got the five of pentacles clarifying the five of pentacles but some of you all you could have left this person out in the cold and now you fear that this person is gonna leave you out in the cold so you don't want to make that move okay mother of wands yeah for some of you all you're ending a cycle and starting having a new cycle this could be with someone who you're very passionate about this could be with the Taurus, a Leo, Aquarius, a Scorpio, okay? Or it could also be with another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius like yourself. 
But I feel like this person has gone through a cycle of transformation, okay? And I feel like you're expecting the worst and it's really, really causing issues with some of y'all sleeping, okay? For some of you all, you really want to move forward and actually fix things. You want to renew. You want to rebirth, okay? You really want to relive something with structure the right way. For some of you all, um, if you're dealing with the Taurus, I feel like this person may want you to move in with them during this time, or they may want you to move, um, make, like say, take some type of leap of faith to move maybe to their city. But some of you all, for some of y'all, it's going to possibly have to require you to walk away from someone from the past. You're going to have to cut something or someone off in order to move forward. And I feel like, Saggy, right now you're really not trying to trust that because I feel like whomever you're having to cut off, I'm hearing the word crutch. I'm hearing the word um, comfort. So I feel like whomever you're having to cut off is someone who you're comfortable with. It's someone who I feel like as much as you want growth with this person, you really don't see the relationship coming out of this stagnant phase. And I feel like this is like a, 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 a cycle that is like kind of like the damn lamb chop song this is a song that never ends yes it goes on and on my friend yes i'm old some people started singing and not knowing what it was over and over again man don't nobody got time to be singing that shit with charlie horse all day don't blame mr charlie mr charlie is just the man and he's doing the best he can. And if his best that he can ain't good enough for you, it's time for you to tell the truth about what it is that truly fulfill you. What do you want, Saggy? Okay? Why is the emperor here? Some of you all want to offer a couple of to Aries. Yeah, you want to make an offer. I feel that you feel that maybe your offer is not good enough or maybe this person won't be accepting to it. So I feel like for some of you all, there's this issue with being vulnerable as well. Why is the death card here, Spirit? Why is the death card here? Yeah. For some of you all, some of you all, you may be having newness, okay, with a Scorpio during this time or actually able to move forward and have a blessed union. For some of you all, I feel that after, you, you must go through this form of transformation, okay, and be willing to step out on faith and trust the changes and trust the faded Occurrence is happening in your life because it's going to bring you success, Sag. It's going to open the door to abundance, okay? And there's something towards the sense of newness, okay, and stability. Yeah, for some of you all during this time, you, you have, you're holding on to a Leo or you holding on to, um, or you could have a Leo holding on to you. And I feel like you're internally conflicted because I feel like that person just really doesn't fulfill you. I feel like you want to really hold on to that person, but you're afraid that they're going to leave you out in the cold. And that's an internal conflict that you're really needing to heal within the self, my baby. But some of you all, yeah, some of y'all are really in y'all head about taking an offer from an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel that this person is already financially stable. They could also be some type of entrepreneur. And I feel like some of y'all are afraid that this person is a hoe. And I feel like you want a new mindset around thinking about this person, but you really kind of in turmoil about it because you know the trust of into you know you're now aware of in tune with your feelings and know, you know, to trust your intuition. But some of you all, some of you all are going to move forward to go communicate towards a fire sign. Maybe you and this person are not in communication right now. But during this time, there will be either this person is going to come forward and um, communicate with you or you're going to communicate with them and express some love, okay? This could also include a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, you want to make or receive an offer, you know, to a water sign and accept their love. But there's something from the past that you really needed to heal from some type of lower vibration that is really not serving your soul on a soul growth level okay some of you all want to offer you a cup of love after some type of truth and clarity is expressed why is this father of swords here yeah some of you are you're going to move forward and communicate with a person okay this could be a gemini Libra aquarius you could be stalking this person or this person could be i feel like both of y'all are watching each other and I feel like somebody is naive to the fact that the other person is like a step ahead. Like you think that you don't know that the other person that, you, that this other person is watching you, um, or vice versa. They think that they getting you know they're ahead of you without thinking that you know that they're watching. But yo, you know, Sag. For some of you all, you're indecisive about making the moves towards um, 
a cancer, okay, or moving forward with a cancer. Some of you all are indecisive about moving away from a cancer, making a judgment call, okay. But some of you all, there's a new beginning with the sign of Virgo. But some of you all, you really want to offer stability or actually materialize some type of movement and momentum towards a family situation, okay? So I see this for some of you all. You could be dealing with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to nurture you. They want to reconcile during this time, Sag. You or this other person have been manifesting this, but there's a need to have an adult conversation seriously about what you will and will not accept or tolerate during this time for people. Don't let people play with you. Tell them, be careful with me. Not not, not with the shits. Sag, you like, I'm not with the shits. Show not through birthday season. The fuck? Why the six of cups here? Yeah. But some of you all, Sag, huh? So contract time. Karmic shit. But some of you all, it's time for you to drop the burden, Sag. And this is definitely you putting down the burden, Sag. Okay? And this could be carrying the heavy load of possibly someone who is a Leo, a Taurus, uh, Aquarius, or a Scorpio, okay? Or another Sagittarius. I feel that for some of you all, there was an issue in the past life with letting go or actually trusting to move forward or having this fear of being rejected, okay? Which followed you into this life, all right? As karma that you're having to evolve through. Yeah, for some of you all, you could be dealing with an Aquarius person. And I feel like you feel, you or that Aquarius person feels that you have a lot of options. And I feel like somebody is really assuming and constantly making an ass out they self. And I feel like there's this level of acknowledgement, you know? Why, why is it that this bothers me? Why is it that I have this feeling that I feel like things in the past or situations or people are going to do me the same way that I've had to, you know, come, the same situations I'm going to continuously see that I constantly saw in my past. That I heal from. Why is it that I keep attracting people either with this victimized ass energy or why is it that I keep attracting people who can't let go shit from the past or why can't I move away from the past? What is it within that situation was I to learn from? Okay. What lesson was I supposed to take from the situation in order to move forward? How can I leave this baggage behind? Because I really need to be able to see these two damn cups behind me and take it and, and, and triple what the fuck I got and be grateful and understand that gratefulness bring gr gratitude is the attitude to bring what it is that you're trying to add unto you. Why is the Empress here? For some of you all, definitely involves whoa a family situation. Someone who you have um, a child with. This could be the mother or the father of your children. But I feel like this person, um, you feel like this person is your lover. This person is your soulmate. For some of you all, this could definitely be reconciling um, reconciling with the, uh, some type of family situation. For some of you all, you may have a Gemini coming forward to express their love to you during this time. I feel like this person, something about appreciation. Maybe you have to move away from this person due to the fact that they didn't really appreciate you. But some of y'all said they didn't trust you. But now they've had to go out and find that the, gre the gra find that the grass is not greener on the other side. In fact, and people got some fake ass grass and eat, they don't even take care of that shit. And so because of that, they don't want it. They actually see your substance, see your words, but it took for them to learn through turbulence and turmoil and chaos and everything that you fussed at them about, they moved forward and pretty much ran into the same lessons from people because they had to come to terms with maybe it's not everybody else. Maybe it's my ass. Maybe I need to come to some form of change or acknowledgement or understanding or compromise to understand what my lover was trying to express to me before. Yeah. Some of you all, some of you all are just going to be in this period of solitude, reflecting, trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. I feel like for some of you all, um, you know that you're going to have to release and pull back away from a situation, okay? I feel that you're going to have to come to terms with that harmony within yourself in order to move forward to rectify a family situation, okay? Or some type of um, intense life path, um, sorry, past life connection that you've had a hard time moving away from and maybe somebody ghosted someone else. But some of you all, you really have to move forward away from the idea also of feeling like someone... And being a, being, having that fear of being rejected, Sag. Especially when it comes to reconciling with someone. This could be a fire sign. Why well, the Ten of Cups here? Yeah. Again, some of y'all are being defensive towards a family situation. 
Or maybe you have a fire sign that you have a family with or a water sign that could have, maybe you were defensive toward this person in the past. And maybe you or this person have grown um, in some type of like financial sector during this time or something like something is faded here. Okay. And I feel like there's this need to move from this defensive period between the two of you. Be open to communicate with this person. Work on the relationship. Okay. Work on the relationship. Either you or this other person has been doing work on themselves or will be doing work on themselves during this time. And I feel like the other person is internally conflicted. Like, is it going to be the same shit I walked up on last time? Because I ain't got time for that shit. I'm trying to grow, you know. And at the same time, for some of you all, you definitely are dealing with the Leo, okay? You really want to manifest something to the surface. And I feel like you're trying to be courageous and push forward towards what it is that you really want to see materialize in the external. Why is this daughter of wands here with communicating with this fire sign? Communication. Yeah, for some of you all, the communication that you've been waiting from, from that damn Gemini, here it comes. For some of you all, it's simply your twin flame. And for some of you all, it's an Aries. I feel like you can have this ace of rods, this newness. If only you're willing to take the leap of faith, baby, and move away from turbulent times and move away from this stuck as energy. For some of you all, you've been in hermit mode and you're knowing what you need to do, but your own damn stubbornness won't let you move forward. What are you afraid of, Saggy? What do you want? What do you truly desire? For some of you, it's a Virgo. For some of you, it's the mother or father of your children. Some of you all want to actually mend hereditary cycles as far as fixing family karma for some of you all. For some of you all, letting go was a part of your soul contract, but for some of you all, you don't realize that letting go is a perception, and it all depends on how you choose to let go. You can let go of unhealthiness in a relationship, you can let go of the whole damn relationship, or you can let go of all of the damn fucks that you're putting into all of these damn thoughts instead of moving towards what it is that you're trying to manifest here in the External, baby. What do you want to see here on the surface? What do you want, babies? It's all about you. But it's time to really go within and be honest with yourself. What needs work? What needs to be purged? What can stay? What can go? What don't I fucking need? Do I have trust issues? Is that why I attract people who have trust issues and insecurities around me leaving? And this is why I, I, I put, uh, this is why I attract possessive ass people because maybe I'm a bit possessive. Is this why I attract manipulative people because maybe there's levels or instances where I can be a bit manipulative and not beating yourself up from it, but really learning to acknowledge it in order to grow from it, fix it. It's never too late to fix it. You did? So I love y'all, my babies. Don't twerk too hard. And this is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of December. I will check back in with you guys mid-month. And again, if you need that personal, hit me up. I love y'all a long time. Much love, much light, much abundance, much healing, y'all. Many blessings. Namaste. Bye, my babies.